Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pineapple Smash Crew, and let's see... Um, what's the highest one? Medium? Let's do this one. Power out? Um, unfortunately, so it's gonna be weird. Uh, see? Uh, let's see. Got two right up here. We'll just go straight to them. And get them done, and then backtrack to the terminal, because it's on the way to the next area. Oh my god, two turrets right after another, that is really scary. Um, hate dealing with turrets. They're the worst. Um, thankfully we got the shields now though, so we could deal with pretty much any enemy. No problem. Yep. Let's destroy these turrets. And I don't think I was hitting up any of them. Oh god, Aldi almost dead on plump. Poor plump. That frag it. And then... Oh god. Hopefully those hit. Thank god they did. And we're recovering artifacts, aren't we? So yeah. Um, should really just ignore the enemies. Always forget what mission I choose. Not paying enough attention. Probably gonna lead to our downfall one time, eventually. Let's see. Where's the next crate? There we go. Missionary complete. And we'll just backtrack through this room. At the top room is probably a boss fight, knowing my luck. And damn it, we missed. And on one of the worst things to miss with. These turrets are a pain in the ass. First healing grenade we find it's probably gonna be used. Plump really needs some health. Missionary complete, we could leave now. And let's get the fuck over to that terminal and find out more about the Wasabi Wars. Hopefully find this mothership. Again, we have 24 recruits, so if we don't beat it, then something is very, very wrong. Um, if we beat it with these guys, there's basically no difference between the hardcore run, I think, um, besides the game over um, on loss of everyone. Where's that terminal at? Oh god, this is very bad. And we lost Plump. Poor Plump, Aldi down. Really shouldn't have ran between those two turrets, though. Who topics came up with employee loyalty, betting on the other teams, stuff like that. So we've only got three guys to beat this mission with. Shouldn't be too hard. We're all low on health, though. And we've got a turret there, which needs to die. And now we're a bit lower on health. Chug is almost dead. And we leveled up. And... Those turrets need to die. So we've got a healing grenade, so let's go duck in the corner and use it. Fortunately, um... Plump wasn't here for it. Poor Plump. Got one guy going in the Hall of Fame at least. Damn, things are smart enough to move their damn turrets out of the way, so you can't really frag them. So, I guess we'll just sit here and try to shoot them. Only got three turrets left. Still pumping out a ridiculous two turrets left. Again, these things just have so much damage potential. Got 10%. Nice jump there. Um... Got a new recruit, Jules. 24 more guys left to make it. I guess it looks like we don't have to pay, so... Let's see... Arcar Harbor Artifacts or Destroy Hostiles? Shift Damage High, Full Power. Um, Chainsaw Capper or Death Straighter? We'll take on Death Straighter. Seems like it would be a bit of a bad omen, though. And we've got horrible layout. Got a mission objective all the way over here. And then we've got to go all the way over there. And we've only got five minutes to do it. Again, these stupid turrets. Finally getting our grenades back up after that boss fight though. And there's the door. So let's see. Let's clear this area. Search crates and we've got these explosive motherfuckers again. Unfortunately, it does not block explosions. 
And as you, like I was saying, the ones you unlock recently get really common. And wow, Chug is almost dead now. I think this is almost harder, or then I'm just a lot more cocky because we have four people. Hopefully that's it. And yes it is, so now we can get the hell out of here. Poor Chugga, we need to get him a med uh, healing grenade quick, and there's one actually, so Grimeth, get rid of your thing, and well, someone popped in the stupid laser field for a little while, it could have ended horribly. So now Chugga is back up to almost full health, and we actually have a chance now. And just back the exact same way we came, and this wasn't the way we came, goddammit. And someone- God damn it, Chugga! Teleported into the stupid laser field and took a bunch of damage. Oh god. Oh god, why? We got three guys almost dead. Oh my god. Just having horrible luck right now. I had a feeling that something like this would have happened. Oh god. Oh god. Everyone's everyone's dying. And there there goes Jewel Rules or whatever his name is. New guy. New guy's already dead. Again, new guys the new guys don't get any experience, so they lose any they don't get any um armor or resistance or anything and really um thankfully it spawns beyond us but i think we get hit when we come in which is really unfortunate so chugga get rid of your grenade and god kill it kill it kill it ah, there we go um now we can heal up and this was a godsend um that's a lot of people up there i kind of Oh god, they could shoot doors open too. I did not think they could. Oh my god, that was... Holy crap. <laughs> um, I think we're set. For grenades. We've got some of the best grenades in the game. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I think the ship's name was a bad omen. God damn it, they're able to jump through there. And as you can see, the shield protects them from explosions even. Hooray. They're immune to any sort of damage from that direction. Uh, fuck you, turret. And I swear, Chug is going to be the next to die. We're not going to have any of our original four left at the end of this, I bet. Oh well. And of course, Grameth runs through the area again as well. And Grimoth almost dies from that, so gonna sit here and heal up. All the shields up. Everyone almost at full, and why was something exploding? That's kind of interesting. Thank God for those grenades. So I, I've already shown off these damage ones. I haven't seen any new ones really. So we've got one minute to clear two rooms and that area before we start taking damage. And I missed the door, herp derp. Again, I missed the door. Yeah, these these ships are just giant fucking mazes, aren't they? So, um, pop that down. And everything in it dies. Interesting idea about loyalty, 93% reduction output during the fiasco, and no one survives from the grand prize. We already read that one. Fucking hate those spiders. And let's see. Yep, shows the right way. Hooray. So this last area is going to be a boss fight. We have to clear this one. And then the area after this is a boss fight. And again, it just spawns right on us. God damn it. And it's locked, so we can't get that missile. Sucks. Oh, these things are kind of common. God, like spike from props. And there goes me being an idiot and blowing up my guys again. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. God, Trigger's almost dead again. Why? Frag out. Oh wait, I'm not killing guys in this. I'm recovering artifacts, aren't I? Oh, and we've got radiation danger too, so everyone's taking damage. And it's increasing as it goes on. God damn it. Um, if we don't get out of here soon, we're gonna start taking mass amounts of damage. Missionary complete, we gotta kill a boss while taking extra damage from radiation. Missionary, a search creates. Oh, and there goes Chugga. I think we're gonna lose all four on this. Because we can't protect ourselves from radiation damage. That's it, game over, man. Yep, all four dead. We gained 4% of the coordinates, though, so we've got four new recruits. Lost our entire crew on that one, unfortunately. That sucks. Let's see. Cover artifacts, destroy hostiles. We'll destroy hostiles. It's the one I do most commonly. And for a good reason. Should have probably been doing these mainly from the start. What's this? Slow time. Good. Um, oh god, what the hell? We have a turret in here that we can't get near. What the hell? Um, is this a bug or something? I cannot get in through there, so... Um, I'm just gonna have to go another way. That is really weird. And blowing up my guys again. I'm like an idiot. Oh my god, everyone's just getting murdered. Um, shit. Really finding like no healing grenades in this game, which sucks. It's finding tons of them in my original. Never really had to worry about them. See, let's get those turrets with a single grenade. Save time. Actually make use of this use fear. Goodbye. And then... Goodbye. And then let's use this Frankenstein from Stu. Let's see, we have four more hostiles left to kill. This guy here in the corner. This guy over here. Franken and two more Frankensteins. So we're going to have to backtrack for this one, because otherwise we won't be able to get the terminal. Again, those guys do so much damage, it's just absurd. And you guys are so fragile in this game. And your weapons unfortunately have a really short range as well. Super thing bounced wrong. Four times damage, let's, let's fuck these guys up. I wonder if it's four times damage on everything, or if it's just your guns. Let's see, where's the last one? There we go. Um, wow, one more still. Okay, there we go. And let's get the terminal and get to our objective. Our Union Freedom Forces found in it, and some other stuff that I don't really care about. So, let's head back through here. We got two minutes left this time. And, wow, well, almost lost jupes th drops there. Oh god, why? God, those guys have fucking deadly aim. I think I should really stop just running around so much. And this guy is not affected by cause fear, but he is affected by that at least. And that just made him basically completely worthless. But our guys are still almost dead. Those guys aren't, and there's still a lot of firepower coming our way. And there we go, and we nearly die with our remaining three there. 10%, wow, nice, nice one. So we're at 44% now. 
Anyways, um, well, six more casualties and 513. We're doing horrible compared to the last one. Anyways, we'll call it an episode there. That's it, that's all. I'll see you guys next time.